freezing out there. So, hey. What are you guys up to? You know, I can't speak for Simone and Whitney. But uh, me? <laughs> well, I just blew the only lead on my past that I've had since I got to this town. What do you mean? Well, we were all here when Chad met this old man named Orville. And maybe you've run into him before, Miguel. He's, uh, he's kind of stooped over. He's got glasses. I mean, it looks like he's been around for a while. You know, seen it all. And he, uh, he wears this fedora. Doesn't sound like anyone I know. Anyway, he knew the name Chad Harris from way back. You're kidding. No. He even remembered Chad when he was a little baby. That's what he said. So you're not buying it? <laughs> well, it's tough to buy much from a, a guy who can't remember the beginning of his sentences by the time he gets to the middle, you know what I'm saying? And he kept singing this lame song over and over again. Is this a joke? <laughs> no, let me break it down for you, man. Our man Orville has got the attention span of a gnat. Well, then why are you taking what this guy says seriously? Because he knew that Chad moved to L.A. when he was a baby. How could he know that? Well, see, that's what I was trying to find out. I mean, I was throwing him all these questions, and he, he tripped. He said he had to go make a phone call to someone before he could give me any answers. A call to who? Uh, he wouldn't say. In fact, he, he had to go outside. He said he had to make the phone call from the phone booth because he didn't want anyone over here. So what happened after that? Well, like a fool, I waited in here to give him some space. By the time I went looking for him, he was dust and the phone was hanging off the hook. And all I got of old Orville now is just this old hat. <laughs> and I don't think it's going to tell me all that much about me or my family. I went outside to make a call to someone about telling you about your past, right? And that's what he said. Okay. Now what if, while he was outside, a car pulled up next to the curb? A big black car, and then all of a sudden, two big guys with trench coats and dark glasses jumped out, grabbed Orville, threw him in the back seat, and then they took off with him. <laughs> nice try, Simone, but um, I've seen men in black, too. You know, I think it's a little too much X-Files. She's totally <laughs> hooked. I knew you guys would laugh at me. Nobody's laughing, but why would anyone want to kidnap an old guy? <laughs> So he wouldn't tell Chad about his past. And the fact that he disappeared must mean something. Think about it. That's how all big mysteries start. Okay, you've been hanging around Kay the drama queen way too long. There is no mystery. Just some old, confused guy who probably forgot who he was calling before he even got done dialing. I mean, I bet he put the phone down and wandered on home before anyone even answered. <laughs> if only I knew where home was for Orville. <sighs> Where's your crib, old hat? Maybe you can tell me. But I need your help. You think we can track down Orville through his hat? Well, we can try. Who's the maker? Um, the Cape Cod Hat Company. You ever hear him? No, no, but that doesn't mean they're not on the net. Right there. They sell hats out of stores all over New England. Anything in harmony? Um... Yeah, yeah, right here, O'Carroll's. But well, that's uh, a few blocks from here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's almost closing time. You better call him. Wait, here's the number. 555-0123. We're going, Whitney. Be right back. Sure. Uh, you're saying you do remember an old man named Orville who came in and bought a fedora there? Well, I need to get in touch with him. Well, this is an emergency. Thanks for the help. Got it. Nice, man. Way to go. You got Orville's address? Cool. When are you going? Right now. I'm going to ask that old dude some tough questions, and I ain't letting him out of my sight till I get some answers. Are you coming? I wish I could, but I got to get home. Yeah, I can go. So, I... Simone, we got to go. But I just, I, it's really late. All right, it's no problem. I mean, I'm used to flying solo anyway. Later. Say. You're telling me Papa ran off because he stole money from the Cranes? According to Julian Crane. Well, what, what about this guy in New Mexico using Papa's social security number? I can't explain that, Miguel. I'm just telling you that you shouldn't believe any of it. I don't want to believe it either. See, but I need to know. Look, I'm looking at the evidence like a cop. You should be looking at it as a son. Martin loved his family, and he loved his boys with all his heart. And hearing this talk, I feel like I'm losing him all over again. Look, the, the last thing in the world that I want to do is hurt you, Mama. 
But we need to get to the truth, don't we? What are you gonna do? Gonna track this guy down in New Mexico? Yeah. Gonna call the authorities down there and have him arrested. Even if it's our... Even if it's Papa. Give me a Luis, no! I mean, you'd really have Papa arrested. Look, you know, the one way that we're gonna find out what really happened is to bring Papa back to Harmony, where he's finally gonna have to face up to what he did. But if this man is Martin, he's your father, my husband. No. It's not much of a father or a husband if he walked out on us without looking back. I don't believe Don't any you of... see? I have to know what to believe. I have to see with my two eyes what kind of man Papa really is. And one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened between Papa and the cranes. So help me.